I was dyslexic, though they didn't even know what that was, you know, 30, 40 years ago. I'm actually surprised they let me through high school. I grew up in a very small town about 10 miles from the Canadian border in northern Vermont, a town called St. Albans. We really didn't have much. Wheels were very important. It was all I had to get around. Bikes were definitely affected by the design of muscle cars and dragsters. That really affected how I saw bikes, and I was building these bikes and, you know, chopping the fork off one and then hammering it onto the forks of the other. It looked like it was easy rider, at least in my imagination, that's, that's what it was. Just the rhythm and the flow of your bike. And I cover a lot of territory on those wheels. There's probably a combination of things that motivated me to see things a little differently. I had some sensibility around drawing or art, so I just drew all the time. Portraits of David Bowie or Alice Cooper. And so in this little farm town, I would see album covers as this portal. I lived through music. It's good. In a sense, snowboards became the album covers that you know I'd been looking for my whole life. There's certain bike designs and colors and form factors that people are on and, and riding, just like a skateboard or a snowboard that embed in your memory and become part of the fabric of your identity. If you put junk into the world, that's what it reflects and that's what it perpetuates. And the world doesn't need junk. It needs responsible, well-considered, timeless, meaningful design.